Hi everyone, welcome back. It's so good to have you back. Today I decided to do another journaling card. I'm using the base of a card that I had used from another project. It's orange and red because it's excess paint that I had from a previous project. I just took a paintbrush and I just took the paint and slapped it on anyhow. I didn't plan, I didn't, I just take the paint and I just slapped it on because I just, I didn't want to waste it and that was the result. So um, I decided today that I wanted to use birds because I don't know, I, I can't, I don't know why. But this was a stencil I chose. I made this stencil, I printed a picture and I stuck it on a piece of card. In this case, it turned out to be the piece of a cereal box. And then I cut it out using my X-Acto knife. So here I'm filling in the stencil with gesso. You can use um, white acrylic paint if you want. You don't have to use gesso, if you, especially if you don't have. My motto is use what you have. So I use what I have. So I'm putting that there and I decided to, oh, I'm drying it now because I didn't want to wait for it to dry because I had limited time. So I have another bird stencil, which I actually purchased in a craft store, an art store in Trinidad. So if I remember which one I got it in, I'll put it in the description below. I decided to put my boots inside. So when I started this, I knew I had an idea that I wanted to use texture base. I also knew that I wanted to use stencils. So I stitched through my stash and I found a boot and I felt it could go, you know, based on the color that I have on my base already. And yeah. Oh, my base is also, it's made of index cards. I stuck two together and I was just covering up the hole in the beginning with a piece of masking tape. So I kind of messed up my boots, they didn't come out perfect, so I'm trying to clean it up now. It's a bit difficult, but I'm trying to clean them up. Still trying to clean them up. But it's, it turned out okay, kind of. <laughs> Not perfect the way I wanted it, but it was doable. Always remember to clean your stencils always so I'm drying the texture piece now because it's quite thick and that takes a while to dry see I'm testing it every now and then to see how dry it is I'm drying the back of the card as well to help dry it so it's dry and my card got a bit warped I'm just reinforcing it where it joined yeah with masking tape again. So these I also made. I printed out my image and then I cut them out. Well, I stuck them down on the card. And this one, it turned out to be a folder, a file folder. And then I cut it out. So that's my flower stencil. So I'm using my paints again. Neon blue, the sun yellow, neon pink. And they're all by Deco Art again. I use Deco Art acrylic paints. And you could choose, I mean, if you decide to do flowers, you choose any color you want. Any color you want. And green for the stem. I'm all I'm using all acrylic paints. I wasn't sure what color I wanted the flowers to be but because the background was so in your face I wasn't sure how it would come out but it's working so I'm pleased and I just decided I did one not knowing how I wanted my flowers or how many and I liked how it looked so I decided to just go all around the card putting in my flowers so it's like a it's like a nice frame for the bird you know, it's like they're all reaching for the bird and he's the center of their... I don't know. 
<laughs> but yeah. And because the stencil is so small, you don't need, I didn't need much paint at all, very very little. So I'm very careful, I just keep spinning my sponge around, I'm using a regular um, makeup sponge. I just keep spinning it around, one side has one color, the other side have another color. Instead of using two sponges. And usually for my stencils and my sponges, I have a container under my desk where I mix water and soap and I put, I just drop them in there so that they don't get hard and they don't mash up and spoil. I don't put the paper stencils in the water, I only put the plastic stencils in the water because the paper stencils will disintegrate. I decided to paint my birds yellow. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> But, and then I decided I needed to paint my bird. But I, I wasn't really sure what color those birds are. And I didn't feel like taking time out to go and look for it. So I just decided, you know what? My bird is my bird and I'm gonna make it any color I want. So I decided to use pink and blue. I know, right? Very interesting. But God creates creatures of many colors that's beautiful and, you know, amazing. So why not? Why not pink and blue and burgundy bird? Why not? <laughs> so I'm trying to do it in a way to let the smaller birds on the bird stand out. That's what's happening. I'm trying to let the big bird still as well stand out on the card, which was not happening. So at this point, I wasn't really pleased with what I was seeing because it, it wasn't turning out the way that I saw it in my mind. The bird and the mini birds, the baby birds. So I said, okay, my bird needs to stand out. So I looked for my charcoal pencil and I outlined it. And then I said, the baby birds need to get outlined too. However, I didn't want it to look super black. So I had to be very careful. So now I'm activating the charcoal because it's soluble, water soluble. And I just wet my brush just a little. I have a little water in the tray. And ever so often I'll just wet my brush and try to kind of blend it out so it wouldn't look boring, just like a line. So I'm trying to kind of fade it out you know so it will look cool <laughs> and it will stand out more because you want your you know I wanted him to stand out so now I'm just going through the process of bordering my bird blending erasing blending adding blending taking out putting back you know it's all back and forth, back and forth. So that's what's happening there for a little while. I decided to leave the process in so you'd see, you know, it's not just, it didn't just happen. It took some work. It was a bit challenging for me and I wasn't sure how it was going to work and if it was working, to be honest. But I kept at it. Then I decided it needed something more. So I decided to use my gesso to give it a little border in the front. Okay. So it could stand out even more. Because, you know, I found the card was looking a bit dark, even though orange is a bright color. So I decided to use some white. Here I'm trying to put the eye. I used burgundy and then I put white in the tip but it's so tiny I don't know you can't really see it it's so tiny I'm putting my border on my page itself the card itself because I found it was too plain still it needed a border 
to frame it it needed a frame so I'm using my charcoal pencil again and then I'll activate it with water Ta -da! yeah that's what's happening there So now I have a paint pen, it's a Posca paint pen, and I'm trying to get the paint out but nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. So when you press down on the tip, the paint comes down and I'm able to shake it out. Again, I'm trying to brighten up my card, I felt it still needed something extra. So I'm covering my image because I didn't want, I clearly I missed part of it, I didn't want all these splatters to go on the bird itself. I wanted it around the bird. So it's a white Posca pen. And I got paint on his face. So I'm using some water to try and clean it up before it dries. And we have success! But then his eye disappeared. <laughs> did it? Kind of. It kind of did. And then I felt I needed more splatters. So I decided to use burgundy. I was thinking of black, but I said, no, nah, I'll stick with the, the colors that I have. So I watered down my burgundy. I added water to my burgundy acrylic. And yeah, I've added my splatters. I found when I hit the brush, tapped it, it came out better. Yeah. I really liked how that white, those the white splatters came out though. I really did. So I found my white wasn't standing out enough, so I just I added some extra. I went over it with another coat, and that was better. That was better. So what I also did was thicken the line, not just go over it, but I also made it a bit thicker so that you would see it a bit more and I tried to fade it out as it went along into the rest of the bird so it wouldn't just stop abruptly you know so that's what happened there so that's basically my bird my card and at some point I will journal behind it and stick it into my journal so thank you all so much for watching and I hope it inspired and encouraged you to go and create on your own. Thanks everyone. Bye.